It is Dow 648. Jessica has your forecast. Thank you so much, Len. Let's start off with a live look from the Salesforce Tower. Things are pretty sunny out there right now. Sunny skies just over the San Jose downtown setup. And as we take a quick look at what we can expect for daytime highs, well, the sun is sticking around actually for the next seven days for that matter. Daytime highs today in the mid to upper 80s in our inland areas, 60s near the bay, 50s all along our coastline with strong onshore winds. This is just what we're expecting as we extend into the afternoon hours around 7 o'clock. Look at Bodega Bay. Around 35 mile per hour sustained winds there, 39 mile per hour wind gusts near Santa Rosa all the way down into Novato. And I want your eyes to actually start shifting off closer to Fairfield. Take a look at this setup as we wake up and head all the way into Friday. Notice how those winds start pushing offshore. That's very significant for a multitude of reasons, but the National Weather Service's eyes are on it too because they issued a red flag warning as well as a wind advisory. So with that in mind, we'll talk about the reason why in just a second. But here's this huge, huge ridge of high pressure still building its way in the Pacific Northwest, battling with an area of low pressure, actually a negative tilted trough right there. It's the reason why we're seeing those winds streamline, pushing from the north south all across our valleys, even into our coastlines and here in the bay alone. So that's the big reason why we are under a red flag warning for Solano County starting at 11 a.m. this morning. That will extend all throughout this afternoon and end tomorrow evening around 8 p.m. To add to that, oh, just when we thought we were done, a wind advisory has been issued by the National Weather Service from Sonoma all the way down into Vallejo. Concord areas also mostly in the hills actually impacted by this when gusts are expected to get anywhere up to 50 miles per hour at times. Let's end on a light note though. We're expecting daytime highs in the Santa Clara Valley anywhere from Mountain View all the way down into Sunnyvale, mostly in the upper 70s. We'll see some low 80s in the forecast as we head more south closer to Morgan Hill, San Jose area. But as we extend off into the east, well, it's more upper 80s over there. It's a warm setup no matter where we are actually in the Bay Area. Even as we head off closer to San Francisco, we are above average today. A daytime high setup of around 50, excuse me, 68 degrees. 82 up in Petaluma, and that's also the case as we head more north for our friends up near Ukiah, mid-70s there. And as we head into the next seven days, sunshine will stick around. We're not dealing with any low pressure strong enough to bring in the rain. However, we are seeing a little bit of a cooling trend for Saturday and Sunday just near San Francisco alone with 60s in sight, 80s across the board for our inland East Bay. Lots of sunshine in store for the weekend. So hey, if you have any outdoor plans, don't rule them out just yet. It's a beautiful weekend to head outdoors. Winds will still stick around as we head into the afternoon hours, but we will keep you updated on that here in the Weather Center. And